Hello Libra, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy Libra. This is going to be blind spot week. I did notice in the comments a couple of people had mentioned it and um, it's kind of funny. It's been something kind of every once in a while coming into my mind. Even the last few months I've been thinking, I haven't done a blind spot reading in a while. So here we are. We're going to do blind spot this week. Um, Libra, we're going to see what's your blind spot. Like what's kind of coming towards you and you don't, whoa, no, didn't expect that. And we're going to see why. Why is this coming towards you um, and what you can expect from all of it. And so we're going to use the energy oracle deck. And I don't think I've used it in a while either is the wizard's tarot. I have the witch tarot teeny tiny on deck. Should we need it? Uh, so let's see Libra. What's your blind spot, my friends? What is Libra's blind spot? <clears throat> okay, what is it? What's coming towards Libra? They don't see this coming. Although it's always funny. I know whenever I've done these readings, like there's always a group of people that are like, oh, I totally see this book. I knew it was coming. So, you know, it could be a confirmation too. <laughs> Coming in for Libra. What is coming in? Oh, honey, cornucopia. Good work. Your good work is paying off. That's really nice. So I kind of want to say abundance, um, maybe a really good period in your health and your finances here. So this is kind of like a payback to you in some in some form, right? It says good work is paying off. Wish is fulfilled. It's almost like, because the next question I'm going to ask for the card that we're going to pull out is um why is the universe bringing this to you or what like why is this happening i want to just kind of say like it doesn't necessarily mean the universe is bringing it to you could be or it could be something is you know this i feel like there's something that you've done here and so you're going to be getting the payback for it you've been putting in the effort um the effort is starting to build on something you know look at all of this harvest so You've planted the seeds, you've tended the garden, you watered it, you fertilized it, you weeded it, and it's come in time for something to be, um, yeah, received. Excellent way to start this series of readings, <laughs> Libra. So I just thinking to myself, oh, now everyone else, <laughs> after this, that's a big one to get. Okay. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Okay. A thinking man, a wise man to teach you grow, um, a love interest or a friend. Now, what I really want to, what I get with this though, is thinking and active thinking because it's coming in as the masculine. So how you've been actively thinking and applying your thoughts, right? So coming to decisions, taking actions on those. That's why. So your thinking process, um, if it's been any type of a strategy or a development or brainstorming, that's why this is coming in. What can you expect from this? The world, the world, you know what? Expect everything, the world. So expand your mind and your thinking. Uh, I kind of want to say that you could be, some of this harvest energy that's coming in for you could be things that kind of spur your mind and your thoughts and directions that they haven't been before. Um, at the bottom of this card, I have, there's a lot out there to consider global ideas, global networking, expand your vision. <laughs> I haven't heard a siren in a while in the readings. That's kind of interesting, right? I feel like it's got meaning. Like when I first moved here and I was doing the readings, I thought, I'm hearing that a lot. <laughs> Cause if this, I guess the way the sound travels, there's a main, a more main road. Oh, it's probably like a kilometer away or so but I think that's because there's so many times where there's not so that almost felt like it came in like right at the right time for you almost like it was um even alarm bells or it was signaling like some type of a truth here I don't even remember what I said <laughs> but yeah coincides with when that uh, the sirens started going so expand your vision it could be um I want to say even the full, you're going to see there's a full completion of a cycle here that you've been working on and it's coming to a conclusion. So that's what you can expect. Some type of a cycle in your life that is going to be concluded as you're opening up this. Oh, Libra, this is a very nice energy. We're going to go to the tarot. <laughs> We're going to go to the tarot. At the bottom, you have, you have man holding a heart, yin, yang, and caring connections. So that's interesting. I mean, for some of you, 
This could be how you've invested in a relationship or how you've been investing in the relationships around you. Um, yeah, how you've been even kind of utilizing your own masculine energy here, like your active energy and bringing balance to the things that you're producing. What's, uh, what's coming towards you? That's a nice energy too. Libra, you got some nice energies, my friends. Venus is rejoicing. A very nice blind spot. Right. We're going to do tarot now. I'm going to do one tarot card for each of these fine little piles. And then I'm going to do teeny tiny to really clarify it all. So... Libra's blind spot is cornucopia. All right, then. Thanks for showing up. Oh, the Seven of Cups. Like, wow. You might even feel like there's too much. You don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> Jeez. This kind of feels like, yeah, like an, uh, too much. What do I do with it all? What should I choose? You might have a lot of choices, too. There might be too, like, well, it's kind of what I said here. It's it's also bringing that in where um, there's so much to consider that you haven't considered. So it's really going to expand your mind here. Why? Because you're thinking. You're thinking in a way, you're actively thinking, you're um, taking action on your thoughts. Oh, the Ace of Cups. It's really kind of interesting how he's holding this crystal. And then the Ace of Cups is then in the hand. Uh, there's definitely a cornucopia of healing and feeling emotion. Um, I feel like there's an abundance of relationships for you too. This is like some type of energy that's coming forward for you to, I don't know, you've planted seeds here. I'm hearing three, three, four. I'm hearing like three, four. I don't know if that's like years months or weeks here something like that you've been working on three four oh actually isn't that interesting because i'm just seeing like seven three and four seven and you have the seven of cups here there's a lot of possibilities gosh there's a ton of possibilities here for you why too i want to say um also your own healing so maybe your own thoughts and your emotions you've been doing healing work or you've come to some sort of resolutions for yourself as well. And coming to resolutions can be removing blocks and by removing blocks, you're allowing abundance to come in. All right, what can you expect from this? The freaking world, all right? Oh, the Six of Cups. Oh, I kind of like that. Um, That's one of those energies where it kind of feels like it's picking up in the context of what's here on the table, it's sort of picking up on the energy of soulmate contracts that you've yet to really open up and fulfill. You could be too. Okay, sorry, yeah. You, I think you're closing off some soulmate contracts here. You're ending some things um, with some people from your past in, I would say, a very permanent way. But there could even be, like, it could be that kind of, you know, because you're showing up with so much abundance, it kind of could be, you know, you just kind of grow out of some things. Um, and uh, like, right, we're seeing a lot of unexpected growth coming for you. So coming towards you, that's unexpected growth can be just, you know, taking you in a different direction um, from where you are now or where other people are going that you're connected with here. Three of Pentacles, King of a King of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. It's kind of a curious energy. The King of Wands has got his back towards um, this kind of like this group work effort here. Some of you may have turned your back on some sort of group um, projects or working on them. Maybe doing some things for yourself here. Or you may have kind of built something up or showed up as a bit like of a leader energy in this Three of Pentacles and then like kind of turned away from it. I'm kind of wondering if like that's part of 
this cornucopia coming in, right? It's like your hard work is, it pays off for you. Your wishes will be, your wishes will be fulfilled. And what you can expect from this is the world. You got like the fairy godmother energy feels like in this one. All right, so let's go to I'm the I'm the right the tarot reader cynical because so I've done too many tarot readings. There's gotta be there's gotta be a catch, right, Lisa? There's gotta be a catch. Cornucopia. Oh my gosh, the five of pentacles. Where there is lack, where there is bleh, you can expect growth. Coming out of a winter season. Okay, so your blind spot here is, I think, if you're coming out of a winter season here, that's when the seeds are underground. So whatever starts to sprout up in your life, expect this to get quite big. Expect it to really come to a full, like you're going to get... Um, what you put into it, you're going to receive back and then some. You know, if you think about uh, planting a little veggie garden and you make sure you've got the right mixture of manures and nitrogens and everything in there and you've got your Carrots Love Tomatoes book and you've got your plants going where they need to go and so that they can grow that the best that they can grow. So you put in that effort, right? But it's almost like, I want to say a twofold even with cornucopia. The Seven of Cups. Kind of could be the area of your life, too, where it feels like, you know, I don't have any, there's no growth here. I'm not really sure what my options are, or what I should do. <laughs> like, oh, it's the Nine of Swords. It could be something that you're, like, literally worried about, and you probably don't have to be worried about it. I do feel like, though, that you were going to spend a lot of time thinking about all these possibilities, You know, if you ever walked into an ice cream store, <laughs> walked into an ice cream store and you walk in and they have like four flavors to choose from. You know, they have the typical like chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and then maybe they have like a Rocky Road or something like so. They're exotic is, you know, that. And then you can usually go, well, you know, yeah, I'll get this. You know, it's easy to choose because you think, well, no, I don't feel like strawberry. You know, I feel like I, I want a chocolate fix. But you feel a little bit of vanilla marshmallow would go. So I'm going to get the rocky road, right? Like it doesn't take much to, to to figure out what it is that you want. But then you walk into like Baskin Robbins with 31 flavors. Like, I just can't decide. Like I feel like that could be part of the good problem with your blind spot. Why? Thinking Man, Ace of Cups. Two of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles, the thinking man. Well, okay, I'm going to put one with the other. So, okay, this is like coming to some type of decisions here. So you're coming to some type of decisions or you've came to some type of decision. And this decision, I want to say, is where it feels like, oh, that's interesting. I was just popped right into my head where it feels like home. It just feels like what, like, I think of the soil, thinking of, um, why am I hearing Queen Victoria? That's odd. Sorry, something's popping in here. There's some sort of a hidden secret to do with Queen Victoria buried underground, like in a garden somewhere. Okay, sorry, just happens once in a while. All right, so um, this, the, um, sorry, it's like there's something weird going, because now I have a notification just flashed up and that's actually turned off. So I don't know why that came on. I'm trying to stick with your reading, but it's like spirit does that sometimes, right? It's trying to tell me something, like a, a PSA, one of my public service announcements. I don't know. Okay, back to the soil. Water and earth energy go so well together, right? Because um, the water finds the gaps within the soil and fills those in, right? It nourishes the soil. It um, 
but then the soil gives the water like a holding place. I mean, if there was no, if earth wasn't what it was, the water would just kind of evaporate, right? or, it just, or it just float around in droplets. So it's like the vessel, these two energies go together really, really well. Um, it's like, honestly, it's like happiness and stability. It's um, the soil to water things where you can put, so too, your emotions, your emotions can be put into an area that can contain them and do positive things with it. There we go. Um, what can you expect from this, the world? The Nine of Pentacles and the Strength card. Gosh. Oh, well, that's interesting. Some of you could, um, well, what do they say here? It almost feels like this underlying energy almost kind of felt like someone who was maybe doing some sort of projects in the past, but then turning your back on that and like working on things on your own here. I kind of want to say that this is um, what you can expect from this is um, a conclusion to a cycle where you've been very uh, independent. But I kind of want to say this is an independence where you've had to really kind of gain your own strength here. Um, yeah, like a strong, I have to be strong, strongly independent. And then the Six of Cups. The Hanged Man and the Moon. Whoa, that has an interesting feel here to it. Um, I think these are some people that you're going to connect with in whatever this growth is that you have coming to you that uh, it's going to like, you're going to sense something spiritual here. I mean, I really kind of get that with um, the Hanged Man and the Moon. Uh, very spiritual energy that you're going to kind of like observe. I think you might be going into a bit of a learning curve here, like what you can expect from this growth, right? Growth and learn, learn and growth. Let's clarify these. Man holding a heart. Ace of Swords, the Fool, the Death card, and the Hermit. Wow, that's a lot of Major Arcana, okay. Taking a new approach, almost like taking a new approach at something you've approached before with the death card. Taking a new approach, taking a, a clear, having a clear perspective to take a new approach on something that you've approached before. And gaining some sort of insight. I don't know if this is about a person, if this is about family, if this is about love, emotions, but that's what that is. All right. Now, the yin-yang, passive or active, your active thinking has definitely, is the reason for, okay, you have the Queen of Swords, gosh, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so, okay, the insight that you had, or the knowledge that you use to take a different approach at something you've approached before, helps you see very, very clearly into, uh, I don't know, this is like a group where you're going to have a lot of happiness and joy, um, a family unit, whether this is like, um, like personal uh, family in your home or family that you're going to build with, and then caring connection. It could even be someone that you meet in a group, and that, that specific individual is someone that you're going to have like a more personal relationship with. Oh, the Three of Swords. Well, that feels like that's the person it didn't work out with. Or that's the underlying. I don't know, something you're putting behind you? The King of Wands. Wow, the Four of Wands and the Empress. This is like, yeah, he turned his back on the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. The two, wow, the two of cups and the knight of wands. All right, this is kind of, that's really interesting because this is almost like somebody chasing familiarity, familiarity with the three of pentacles, like chasing familiarity. I, this is familiar, it, it, it's, you know, it's what I do. The king of, the knight of wands feeling a little bit reactive, but this is like leveling up, going into the king of wands 
And this is not necessarily something like familiar. This is abundance. I don't know. I would kind of, the Empress could be you guys too with that Venus energy. So it could be somebody like recognizing something in you that is not necessarily familiar, but is definitely like an indication of um, abundance, beauty, growth. And that's what your blind spot is. I just got to move this over. I have a different piece of paper. What? So I'm going to do the, in the extended. In the extended, I'm going to look at, um, what from your past still pulls on you? What from your future is trying to push you forward? How this push and pull affects you? And then how you can allow all things to flow freely and naturally. The emperor and the devil. The ten of swords, the emperor and the devil. Oh. Some type of betrayal here, eh? At the bottom. I don't know. The underlying is kind of heavy. But it's sort of indicating that your um, future energy is going to be a lot better than where you've been. So that's a good to know. And Libra, that's what I have for you, my friends. Thank you so much. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.